Hello campers and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how to download and install the TeamViewer host in Ubuntu, how to run it and then how to connect to it from another device whether it's running Windows, Ubuntu or some other Linux distribution. So you decided to install Ubuntu on Granny's notebook, nobody's judging you, but seriously there are reasons why you might install Linux on a notebook for your granny of course. But now she's run into some problems and you need to provide her with some support. But unlike Windows there isn't a built-in remote support tool. But this isn't a server in your data center where you can get a secure shell session via the terminal because Granny's notebook is sitting behind a network that you don't control with a firewall between you and her. Or maybe she's sitting in Starbucks. Also, of course, in this case, there's also a firewall. You don't have an open port where you can create a terminal session to help her out. So there needs to be another way to connect to her notebook. And that way is using a free application called TeamViewer. Now I say free in adverted quotes because it's free for non-commercial use. If you want to use it in a business scenario or to provide paid remote support to people, then you will need to pay for one or more licenses. Now TeamViewer, of course, is a commercial application. There are some open source alternatives if you don't want to install a commercial application, but I don't have any experience with them. So I'm going to show you how to use TeamViewer in this video. So let's head over to our Ubuntu notebook and I'll show you how to install the TeamViewer host. So here I am on my Ubuntu desktop and the first thing that I need to do is get a download link for the TeamViewer host application. Now there is an important distinction to make here between the TeamViewer app, which is the application that you will use to initiate a remote session to Granny's Notebook, and the TeamViewer host, which is the remote server, if you like, that needs to be running on the remote Ubuntu notebook that you want to provide support to. So let's head over to TeamViewer's website and I'll show you how to get hold of that download link. So I'm going to open Firefox here, which is the default browser in Ubuntu. And I'm going to head over to TeamViewer's website. So I'm going to put here teamviewer.com. And if I scroll down here, you see we've got the option to download TeamViewer for free. So I'm going to click on that. So it's detected that we're running Linux, so it's automatically brought us to the Linux download page. Now, the first set of downloads is for the TeamViewer app, and that's not what we want to install here. We need to install the TeamViewer host. So I need to scroll a little bit further down, and you can see here we're now at TeamViewer host, and I'm going to download the x64 bit package for Ubuntu, which is the Debian package because Ubuntu is a Debian based distribution. And of course, if you're running an older device, you might need to download the version for the 32 bit architecture. Or if you're running a notebook that has an ARM chip, then you need to download the ARM version. But I'm running here an Intel 64 bit PC, so I'm going to download that. Now, what I need to do here, rather than download it from the web page, is just grab this link to the download. So I'm going to right click on the hyperlink and then I'm going to select copy link. Now I'm going to open a terminal window. So I'm going to come over to the show applications button in the bottom left hand corner of the desktop. I'm going to click it and then in the search box I'm going to type terminal and here in the search results you can see terminal so I'm just going to click on it and here now we have our terminal window. Now in order to download this to the current directory all I need to do is type wget and then I'm going to paste that link that I just copied from TeamViewer's web page. So I'm going to right click on the mouse and then click paste. And now all I need to do is press enter to download the TeamViewer host. And now you can see the download has completed. Now to install this, I need to elevate my privileges. Now I am logged into Linux here with a root account, but despite that, the root account doesn't have root permissions by default. So I'm going to type sudo into the terminal window and I'm going to use the built-in package manager to install the package that we just downloaded. So I'm going to type apt install and then I'm going to paste that URL back into the command line window. So I'm just going to right click again and choose paste from the menu. But all I need is the last part now. So I'm just going to delete everything that's there. So I'm going to leave that slash and put a full stop in front of it. And I'm going to run that command now to install the TeamViewer host on this system. So all I need to do is press enter. 
I'm going to now put in my password. So there's my password to elevate to root privileges. And I'm just going to say, yes, I want to install this package. It's going to take up some extra space on the disk, of course. So I'm just going to press Y and then press enter on the keyboard. And you can see now that the TeamViewer host application is installing. And we'll just give that a few seconds. Now, all I have to do is accept the license agreement. So I'm going to check that I accept the license agreement and then click continue. And now we're done. So now all I need to do is click the show applications button, come back up to search, and I'm going to search for team viewer. So I'm just going to type team. And now you can see that we have the team viewer host installed on the system. So let's run it. I'm just going to click it here in the search results. And you can see now the team viewer host is running. Now, in order to use TeamViewer, you need a TeamViewer account. In order to do that, you go to the TeamViewer website, click the customer login icon in the top right of the browser window. Then you can go to either of these login options. So I'm going to click a management console. I'm going to accept cookies. And here you can see that you now have the option to sign up. So if you need to create an account for TeamViewer, this is where you can do it. And you just follow through the instructions to create a new TeamViewer account. So let's switch back to the TeamViewer host. And here you can see that it says that TeamViewer is not accessible. And we have the option to grant easy access. So I'm going to click grant easy access. And here it's going to ask me to enter the details for my TeamViewer account. So I'm going to type here my email address and then my password. And I have the option here to assign this account to this device. Now I can optionally here deselect grant easy access. Now what grant easy access means is that I will be able to connect to Granny's Ubuntu notebook without ever having to enter a password or have her permission, providing that the team viewer host is running. Now Granny trusts me not to steal all of her money from her bank account. So I'm just going to have grant easy access checked here. But if you'd like an extra step here so that whoever's providing the remote support has to have additional permissions, then you can leave this unchecked. So now I'm going to click here, assign. Okay, and I need to confirm that this device is trusted and they're going to send an email to that address. So I need to check my mailbox. And here you can see device authorization needed. And here are my details. And all I need to do is click this link, add to trusted devices. So I'm going to click that link. And here we get the option to confirm that I trust this device. So I'm going to make sure that yes, this device is selected from the menu here and then click trust and the device was successfully added. So now you can see we have this huge window here that doesn't quite fit on my screen, but I'm just going to move it across and I'm going to click assign. And it's now asking me just to confirm my Ubuntu password. And you can now see that that process has completed and TeamViewer host is ready to use. <music> So providing this application is running on Ubuntu, I can now connect to this Ubuntu desktop from another device. And you can do that using the web if you've got a paid TeamViewer account. If you're using the free version for non-commercial use, you will have to download the TeamViewer application. So I'm going to come back to my Windows device. And here on the TeamViewer website, I've got the option to download TeamViewer. So I'm going to click here, download. I'm going to download the 64-bit version because that's the version of Windows that I'm using here. And I'm just going to open this straight away. So I'm going to click here, open. I don't want to install TeamViewer. I just want to run it once so that I can support Granny with her problems. So I'm going to choose run only and then click accept and run at the bottom of the window here. So the next thing I need to do is log in with my TeamViewer account. So I'm going to put my username and password in here again. I'm going to check keep me signed in and I'm just going to click sign in and I'll need to confirm again that this is a trusted device. So I'm just going to click here. OK. And you can see here now I've got another email. So I'm just going to click this again. Again, click this link. Now I'm going to say I want to trust this device. So I'm just going to click here. Yes. So I'm going to make sure again that yes, this device. Yes, this device. And then click trust. And the device again was successfully added. So if I come back to my TeamViewer application, I'm going to sign in again. I'm going to put my password back in here and click sign in. And now we're signed into the TeamViewer app. So if I come down to computers and contacts and then click my computers, 
You can see now that we have the Ubuntu notebooks. This is Granny's Ubuntu notebook in the list of computers. So I'm just going to click it. And here I've got the option to remote control it. So I'm going to click remote control. And you can see there at the bottom that it's authenticating. And there straight away, we're now signed into Granny's Ubuntu notebook. So I'm just going to click here on the screen. If I click on something like the show applications button, you can see now that I'm controlling here my Ubuntu notebook, make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it more clearly. And I can do whatever I need to do here to help Granny out and get her computer back up and working again. So that's it. And that's how you provide support to a remote Ubuntu Linux desktop device. And you can help out your relatives, your grandmother or your friend or whoever else needs your expertise. Now, I would recommend that you install something like TeamViewer Host in advance on a notebook that you intend to support because it's much easier, of course, if you install that for the person. It's not too difficult to talk them through the install process, but nevertheless, it's good to have that there ready in case of any emergencies. Or if you don't like the idea of using TeamViewer, you can maybe have a look at some of the other open source alternatives. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like and please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more tips and tricks on technology, Windows, Linux, servers and all that kind of thing. Or if you know a better way of providing remote support to Linux desktops, then please let me know in the comments below. And before I go, there are some other videos on the screen that you might also find useful. And that's it for me today and I'll see you next time.